Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and it's time to do some new artwork. So this is one of the cardboard pieces which you get with your cake and this is a quite thicker one and I got this last week and I thought why not to use this as my decorative piece, the base and create something utility and I thought of making a magnetic frame out of this so for this today I am going to use my wooden alphabets I'm going to stick this on my board and do some really nice mixed media and shading work for this I'm going to select few of the alphabets which I particularly want to use like I want to use Q um, M Q maybe I can use lots of Q that will look actually nice and then I can have one more Q it depends uh, you can use any of the alphabets which you want to use but I'm trying to use the ones which I might not use on my other projects as such so <coughs> let me figure it out I'm still very bad with my uh, throat so please, please, please bear with my voice and my coughing. I am trying hard not to do that, but please bear with me. I can use some X here. I can use Z for that case and maybe U, Z. So these are the alphabets which you use very less uh, when you are doing any name or something and always had this guilt feeling that oh i'm you i'm actually wasting these uh, alphabets how to use it so i think finally i've got a way uh, on how to use these alphabets and this can be a really nice background i think and which will be quite interesting like i've seen many of the projects with the uh, these uh, alphabets or with the foam ones or something like that but it depends on what kind of artwork you are making and I think I just need a couple of more <coughs> alphabets and I need to choose which one I want maybe I can have one G and then I can have one mm, maybe I can add one this K and I can even add J and I think this is good I don't need too much of these uh, letters so I'll clear up these letters so these wooden alphabets they are uh, just the plain and very light in weight and you can use this for scrapbooking mixed media projects and you get this in a really big pack and I think for each alphabet you have uh, five letters or uh, six pieces so you can really play around with the text and everything so okay so now I'm done with this I'm just thinking of laying my alphabets on the sides more on sides so I'll start sticking from the yeah so I'll start sticking from the corners and with my brush I'm going to spread my adhesive I don't want too much of adhesive on my base because the base is already so uh, smooth and slippery that I don't want to have too much of hazards maybe I need to have another brush yeah. I'll use this brush Now this will make my work a little easy so I'm going to just randomly place my alphabets maybe I should dim down the yes now I think you will be able to sit properly and G then Q and Z <coughs> 
is so fun you can actually use any of your supplies i remember i did a i did a canvas with a mesh the wire mesh base uh, sheet actually and i just sticked it on my base and then i used it and it actually turned really good and my client was really happy it was a big 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 canvas of size i think three feet by three feet and which was quite interesting for me also because till that time i had not done that big canvas and i'm always happy when i work on such big canvases i have ordered one more big canvas it's very very big and i am sure very soon i'll be sharing the pics of that canvas on which i will be working i cannot share the tutorial cause it is so huge that i really can't <coughs> have my video shoot for that but i can always always try for you all so yeah this is here and maybe last will be j and this looks good can you see the nice texture maybe i need to dry it up properly i need to press it up properly and for that i'll need my heat gun and let me do the drying process and then i'll be back So I'm done with my outer layer and I have picked up these pieces also which I'm going to stick on the center portion and for this again I'm going to use my liquid adhesive and I'm just going to align it so that it comes to merge my center. So for this project I have decided to use one of my photograph as my center piece and around that I'm going to do some work. Now for your any of the artwork it's very important to prep up your base and for that you can use any um, medium like for it depends like for if you're doing a glass jar you need to first sand it and then you do the gesso work but uh, i have done videos where i didn't use the sand paper and still i sticked it and it worked for me so Prepping up your base is important here. I did not have to do any prepping up work because I am going to do so much of coloring on this and this paper. The base paper is actually very smooth and shiny and I think after I am done with the sticking work I can use some gesso or something and that will work. So I have a very very big news to share with you all and I am just waiting for some of the confirmations and once I am sure, once I have the final output with me, I will be sharing with, I will be sharing that with you all very very soon and so okay now this is almost done. I have not applied the adhesive on the complete base. I just applied the adhesive on beneath the, my alphabet. So I can start with my gesso work here. In this project I am going to use my black gesso. And I am going to apply it on my complete project. Now I am going to clean up my brush. Make it dry completely. Because this particular gesso. Uh, this is really really thin. And... So I need to have my brush dried up really well. So yeah, I will start applying my gesso everywhere and I will make sure that I cover up my complete project. So maybe what I can do is I can start doing it from one end and then I'll go to the center. Initially when I started doing decoupa, uh, mixed media projects, especially not the decoupage but the mixed media projects, I used to use my acrylic paint and I was not really sure because first I was not very confident that should I buy gesso because it was really expensive, it, it was. Now with so 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 many Indian brands, it is not but still 
for a starter you have already so many things to buy so you are always confused so i used to uh, use my white acrylic paint instead of <coughs> gesso it did not work really well but it's okay for a beginner because you really don't want to spend too much of money on everything and trust me if you are doing crafting it's not a cheap work you need to spend so so much of money on everything so yeah and that's when i i started i used my acrylic paints <coughs> especially the white for my base and then the first uh, gesso which i bought was of uh, finnabare i'm a big fan of finnabare i love their products i love everything what they make i think even if you gave me a candy jar with their name i will love it i am such a big fan of that so yeah so i bought their gesso and i got i think 400 let me check let me check ah uh, yeah it's a 5 500 ml jar it's a white gesso it's very thick and i have been using this for almost one and a half years now and <coughs> this jar is still so much full it's more than half still can you see that yeah so that's the reason i am a big fan of finnabare because their product quality their stuff quality is just amazing and you never run out of them because they are really worth the money so here i am done with half of my circle and can you see how it looks i just need to do a little more of touch up that i will do but you can see can you see the 3d effect or oh, it looks good So I have few of my plans for my videos and I thought of discussing that today and I'm planning to do some more videos on my cards I have done like more than 40 50 explosion boxes cards and I have done all the variations in that like with the center cake with the box with the double box with the three box layer and four flaps three flaps one flap two flap and i'm planning to do more of explosion box cards and pop up cards so if you want me to make them in any particular theme please comment below i will try to make that video as soon as possible and i am also planning to do few or more of um magnet videos like i have done a4 size magnets i have done a3 size magnets and i have even done teeny mini magnets for birthday party for birthday return gifts and some occasions and i'm planning to do that also so hopefully you will be seeing so much of variety on my channel and in case you if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then please do subscribe and please do comment and leave your feedback i love reading them in fact vanya also loves reading them reading them she has a channel in the name of vanya agarwal and she does lots of kids craft there and i'm so amazed to see that how people support her how everyone loves her and how everyone just appreciates her and overwhelming for us cause she's so happy with every messages she just jumps in and she says oh wow see that that auntie has written this uh, that uncle has written this and she loves it she loves reading them and she makes sure that every day after coming back from school she'll make me sit she'll say oh did i get any messages on my youtube channel or the comment 
please tell me i want to read that and she really loves it i know she has been not posting any videos now cuz she is actually uh, struggling with too many things now and we are trying to work on that and we want to make sure that she is not overloaded and she is not just tied up and she hardly gets any play time and we are trying to set a proper time table some routine for her because of her classes and then school and then extra curricular activities she is so 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 busy all the time hopefully i am planning for some more videos during this christmas eve and hopefully we'll be able to share some new videos with you all in case if you have missed out her um video on the questionnaire which people had sent us so you can check that on her youtube channel i'm sharing the link up do check that so here is a a bit of technique whenever you are using your brush and you want to do the coloring and or the applying the gesso or any color or something if you are you it's very difficult to get into all those tiny spaces so you just wave your brush in a circular motion and then you can easily cover up all the spaces here so you can see here and And you see, after drying out, this becomes complete matte. See, can you? Oops, 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 oops. Can you see the top portion? This side has dried out completely, so it's so matte. <coughs> Now I'm just going to cover up all the. edges and i'm going to make sure that my color my gesso reaches everywhere every corner so that when i start working with other paints and sprays and shimmer paste it works well so in this video i am going to use lots of shimmer pastes uh, and these are the new launches new shade launches of crafty scrappers and i love it I am in the design team till this December end, and I am really happy that they really gave me this opportunity to work with them. And I was so excited. Vanya was so excited, and we had such a great time working for them. So there's always a good memories you have when you work with such wonderful people. They had some amazing team members, the design team members. and it was such a nice experience to work with all of them you get to learn so 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 many things so i always dreamed of being in some of the other design team and i had i also have my wish list for design team and crafty scrappers was one of them so yeah now i'm done with my gesso work almost now i will just do the final touch up here and there and i'll make sure that i cover the complete base with it and then we are going to use our shimmer paints and sprays so like i said i'm going to use this as a decorative piece so i have decided to stick a photo on the center as my frame and like i said i am going to use this as a magnetic frame and i love magnets and i love 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 using them now it's time to cover up the edges it's a little tricky part but yes we have to do it cause that is something which is going to be visible and i always say please cover the sides please 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 cover the sides cause we always miss out on these small small detailing and it matters a lot 
a lot means a lot oh oh I can see one of my alphabets coming out but no worries I can stick it with my adhesive I recently ordered a mixed media workshop with an international artist and there we used uh, gel mediums to stick our embellishments but my only uh, it was a very good project it was a very very good experience to learn to see how everything works but my only query was i was still not very convinced that why you cannot use your pva glue like i have been using this for years i might be wrong but i think it works wonderful with your mixed media projects so i find gel mediums super expensive i find them i actually find no difference in using your any pva glue or your uh, gel mediums cause it was the same the only difference which i <coughs> found is that gel medium takes a little a very little lesser time to dry but we all uh, like have heat guns and which makes anyways your work easier which makes your drying time very very less and you can do anything with it so but i don't know i don't know maybe i should do a video on the difference between gel medium and fevicol and the pva glues and i should try different things and see how it works so yes now here i'm done with my sides coloring and i can always cover up the white portion and you can see you just need to rub your brush and it's done it's dun 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 okay so now again i let it dry i might use my heat gun to speed up the process and then i'll be back so i'm back with my dried base it has dried out completely and you can see how nice it looks and now my most favorite thing i want to show you is the new launches of uh, shimmer paste this is from crafty scrappers yes they had uh, these paste earlier also and now they have changed the consistency of this shimmer paste and as usual their package is awesome and i'll show you how nice and creamy these are and the best part is with the festivals coming up you can have hundreds of occasions to use this and you can see this is just so awesome i am so 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 dying to use these on my projects and just see can you see this shining thing how shiny it is just see wow and i'm going to use this on my project okay now for this particular project and they actually have so many colors in this and all are related to your christmas and new year so this is pine wood then they have this proper red color and this is just perfect for any of your christmas project then green color and then the blue color and it looks fab so for this particular project i am going to use only my silver color as of now and let's see how it goes and what i have planned is that i am going to use this picture this is one of our last year's picture uh on ankit and vanya's birthday and i'm going to use this beautiful stamp 
and this is again from uh, crafty scrapper stamp set it's a birthday stamp set but i really love this sentiment of unpacking your happiness of togetherness and this is one of my favorite pick with my brother-in-law my sister-in-law and i thought of having this on my wall with a magnet and i'm going to use this one now I just need to decide on how I am going to place it. Maybe I can have this one on the top of other. So before starting this, first I need to do my shimmer paste work. And for that I am going to use my palette knife. I'll just give it a mix. And can you see the creaminess of this paste? Oh, it looks lovely so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to see it's this and here i'm going to overlap it or i can keep it here oh, maybe so what i need to do is i just need to spread out from the second line and then i can do the touch up work later on so i am just going to do the filling work and you can see how nice it looks and this is when it dries out it is going to give that nice texture to it and this is going to look like a sparky thing outside and it's lovely I'm going to use some on the base also and I'll make sure that I spread it nicely on the edges you can use your paintbrush for this and if you have a plain base you can use your stencils with this and you can experiment a lot I have done a video on using how on uh, how to use crafty scrapper shimmer sprays also do check that they have some amazing colors and uh, some nice shades on that and which is a must for every crafter and oh can you see how lovely this looks oops how shiny this is the shimmery effect and I'm going to have it on my complete base and I'm going to cover up all the sides these shimmer pastes take a little time to dry out so if you're a mixed media artist this is a perfect thing for you because we really need to do take some last moment decisions and we have to change something or the other and we need to keep on doing some changes here and there so this is just perfect and now I'm just going to clear up my palette knife and I'm going to make sure that each of my alphabet gets some glitter and this looks fab wow this is actually looking so amazing I am so sorry that my camera is not able to capture the the actually shiny effect of this shimmer paste but this is looking fab and now with my heat gun I am going to dry it up
Now my base has dried out and now it's time to stick my photograph and do the final decoration work. So here I'm going to use my cardboard piece to give it some nice height and like I said I'm still thinking on how to use it. Maybe I should place it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this with one board. Let me cut this board. So. like this so I will start sticking this now I just need to stick on the edges cause it is going to rest on these alphabets so the bottom port portion is anyways going to be empty so I'll clip it I'll stick it here this one and then I need to stick this one so for this I will need 3-4 layers at least and I need to cut that one, two and maybe one more, three. <coughs> so now let me see, this is my first layer. So yes, now I'm going to stick my photograph on this and I'm going to spread my adhesive with my brush so that my photograph is sticked properly. See that's the best part of using your cardboard pieces cause it actually helps in giving so much of depth to your project that you really can't achieve with the natural and the easy form of tape. So I don't like using foam tapes much cause they actually it's i find it a little difficult to work with foam tapes i don't know maybe the quality which i got was of very average thing or something something was wrong or something did not fit into my comfort zone and that's the reason i don't like using foam tapes and i love using cardboard pieces because it actually adds so much of drama to your project <clears throat> now I'm going to press it hard because I wanted to stick it really good and I'll zoom in the camera so that you can see how this is looking and I'm still in awe with this shimmery effect paste from crafty scrappers and I loved 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 the colors and yeah, so I'm done with the sticking work of my photograph. It's just that I need to press it a little more hard. Maybe I will hold it for some more time. Okay, so I'm done with the sticking work. And now it's time to add my pretty flowers. And I'm thinking of adding some here and there. And to give a nice contrast, I may add some colors to it so now uh, I am going to add some shimmer paste on my flowers now this is actually an experiment and you can see my photograph has some yellow colors and all those yellow leaves here and there so I'm thinking of using this pine wood color paste on my flowers now again I'm going to cut the bottle 
please make sure you always cut this um, bottles very well in the starting so that you don't waste your colors or your pastes much and this is so clean that's the best part of crafty slappers that you don't have too much of anything extra on your jars or anything so that you need to just keep on removing those things from your jars and the lids and now with my adhesive I'm sticking my flowers and I am so happy that finally I used my shimmer pastes on this and now with my brush I'm just going to give first I need to mix it up well with your palette knife with your any of the tool you can do this and if you can even do this with a spoon it's really easy just mix it well okay and this looks creamy now and I just need to brush up a little on my flowers just 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 a tinge of glitter on my flowers to highlight it that's it and I am just going to highlight some on my alphabets here and there with my paint brush so like I said you can even use your paint brushes it depends on what kind of uh, work you want to do and you can always use this with your paint brush your palette knife I even use my fingers to spread out the colors and give it a nice mix and can you see how amazing it looks <coughs> Like I always say, I'm so glad to be part of Crafty Scrappers and Konika is a fab, fab, fab person to work with and the kind of products they have is amazing. The kind of team they have is amazing and they really um, take your feedbacks in a very, very positive way which is very rare in the crafting industries and I really love the way they pamper their artist. I have seen, like, you must have seen in Vanya's video, she loves using Crafty Scrappers products. One of the biggest reasons is the way they pamper her and the way they make sure that Vanya enjoys crafting and they have encouraged her a lot in many ways. Like, I could have never imagined Vanya doing so much of crafting and a big thanks to Konika and Crafty Scrappers team for that. And now with this note, I'm done with my artwork. And now on the back, I'm just going to have my two pieces of magnet. I'm going to place it here and here and my artwork is done. So I hope you'll enjoyed this tutorial and please do not forget to subscribe and yes, please make sure you check the new collection of Crafty Scrapper Shimmer Paste and check the varieties of colors they have and yes, stay tuned on my channel for some more amazing videos with these and some new launches of Crafty Scrappers and thank you so much for being with me and lots of love to you guys. Thank you. Bye bye.